Hey everybody, how y'all doing? This is Pete. We're at the Mega Store. This is not just a Walmart. I'm sorry, it's as big as a Walmart. This isn't Harbor Freight. This is a Mega Store Harbor Freight. So we came all the way out here to get some products that were on clearance. And we just came by this right here. It says, as is merchandise price too low to advertise once gone, the sale ends. This is the no return item action here. And we got a three, three power mode router for $52. So these are open box items that they can't return. And what is this here? This is a nail gun for $41. Wow. Okay. Um, here's a Sawzall. What do we got? Now remember, this is the no return aisle, 70 bucks for a, huh, yeah, that's not worth it. So this is a mega store, guys. Look how big this place is. And talk about full. They got, oh my gosh, 2200 Gosh, look at this light for 32 bucks. It's not working. Okay, that's not worth it. 2200 Lumina. I got one for 6,000 Lumina. But um, this is an action right here that I like about Harbor Freight. Look at all these kits that you can buy. Okay. Instead of going to the hardware store and buying one or two, come over here and look at the price on this. So we got a, a wood screw and anchor assortment for $3.79. 206 piece. Yeah. Okay, we got knuckle somebody says bunch of junk no this isn't junk guy <laughs> you're definitely wrong there okay you can say it's junk but it's not um anybody want to wax their cars look what we got here i got a bunch of wax and goods and uh, all kinds of stuff and this one here is organized this is a very well organized store that we're in here unbelievable batteries look at the price on batteries seven dollars 49 cents for 18. now who can't beat that okay how you doing three wheel dolly set for furniture okay all right so while we're here i'm going to tell you why we're here is we came all the way out here to harbor freight in montrose colorado now, the reason we're here is because we purchased 12 more spray guns. Now, you guys think I'm probably crazy because I'm buying all these spray guns, but the reason I'm buying these spray guns is because I'm gonna put them on the internet. I'm gonna put them on the internet in about six months or so. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so let's go get these uh, spray guns. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase those. I'm gonna put you in my pocket while I pay for them. And then we'll go out to the truck and finish this video set out. Like I said, this is a mega store, people. This is a giant, this is one of the biggest Harbor Freights I've ever been in in my life. And I am not bullshitting. I am not bullshitting. Look at this mega toolbox, speaking of mega store. All right, now tell me Snap-on can't beat this price. Okay, look at here. This is the price on the, the big general. Is that what this is? U.S. General, look at this. All right, anybody that has one of these, leave a comment. And then, of course, we got the taco wagon icon. Look at this, guys. This thing's humongous. If you buy the whole thing, it's $15,000. A snap-on one at that price would be very expensive. Very, very, oh, okay, hold on. This is snap-on price. This is snap-on price for this toolbox, which is this roll-around right here. That's the snap-on tool price. That's the Harbor Freight Icon tool price. Whoops. 
So there you go. All right. Now that's just for the bottom wagon here, guys. Okay, I can't. There it is. That's a big drawer. All right, let's go get our spray guns and then we're going to go outside. Well, you know what? Let's walk around because I'm going to go ahead and tell you something now. And I want everybody to listen to this. Do you see this brand right here, Pittsburgh? This brand is good enough for you to be a professional mechanic. And I'm going to tell you why. All right. The price for, uh, right here at $24.99 and for a 14 piece combination wrench set. Okay. $24.29. What do we got here? Here's $19. 22 combo wrench set. If you break one of these, you bring this Pittsburgh brand back to Harbor Freight and they give you a free one. Okay, no questions asked. Let's go get our item. We're gonna go outside and do what we gotta do to tell everybody Harbor Freight is the best place in town. This place is humongous. I've never seen a Harbor Freight this big. This fucking place is fucking humongous. They got so much shit here, it would take you four hours to walk through here and look at it all. Unfucking believable. I mean, let's go ahead and look at the body shop section here. What do they got in stock here that we don't have over there? Okay, look at here. Three piece spreaders, $2.99. All right, you like the metal spreaders? 10 bucks, people, $10, okay? You can't beat it. You cannot beat the situation right here. Let's go get our stuff and then we're gonna go outside and finish this out and I'm gonna tell you why I'm here. Hang tight, I'm gonna put you in my pocket while I check out. See, this is the deal, right? Now you gotta do this, okay, for your toolbox. They don't have separators in them anymore. They eliminated those. They're charging you more money for less toolbox, and now you gotta buy this bullshit to put your tools in your own toolbox. Fucking joke. Ready? Yes, sir. Okay, 11 of these, right? Yes. Is that all you have? Yes, I believe it is. I'm going to go look on the, that's, I'm gonna go look on the shelf. Hang on. Okay. Those are on sale, right? Clarence? Yeah, they are. Okay, there's 11 of them. Okay, cool. Um, phone number? 972, 1410 Road, 1293. Thank you. Southwest Paint and Body. Southwest Paint and Body, got it. And we're gonna do 11 of these. They should be 15 bucks. 614. This is the biggest uh, Harbor Freight I've ever been in in my life. Really? Yeah, this is like a mega store. You want replacement plans for the guns? No, I don't, sir. Okay. They're I on. Was one of the ones that built it. There's three of us left. Wow. And there's 11, right? And yes. Five and one is 11. Now, why would you try to give me a warranty on something that's going Clearance? out? Because what happens is that um, replacement plans would give you the next model that comes out. Oh, okay. So, 17875, and you got a car today? Yeah. I know, I used to think the same thing. The heck, you guys are going to have them Yeah. <laughs> put these in that we don't need that. Yeah. And yeah. the green button, yep. And, and Grand Junction didn't have them for you? Yeah, I already bought them all you out. bought them all out? Yep. <laughs> Priced Utah, too. Right, Priced Utah? Where did you come from? No, I came from my Oh. But I went to Price and bought them. Mm -hmm. And then I went to, can I walk around? Yeah, yeah sure. I'll just leave them Okay, leave them right there. there. I got my receipt. I'm going to walk around. I got my brother on the phone, so I'm going to, he wants to, <laughs> right, he wants to see the, store. he wants to see the mega store here. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so we're back in the mega store, and I'm telling you, this is mega action going on here. Look at this. We got Icon Sockets, $39. All right, you know, a lot of people are thinking, um, a lot of people are thinking, you know, Icon, Snap-on, Icon, Snap-on, Snap-on, Icon. I've done some extreme video uh, reviews on the Icon product, and I'm going to tell you, Icon is actually a pretty good deal. Um, if you bought this set of sockets right here, this is a, okay, first of all, you don't need uh, three ace impact sockets. These are called thin wall three ace. And this is a, um, if you're going to use a three ace socket, uh, I suggest not to get impacts. Okay. I mean, that's just me. You don't really need a three ace, but if you want one, this would be a good set because this is a thin wall, meaning that. It is a better socket to use. 3 ace drive. Look at the price on that. $40. Snap-on. You're probably looking at, I would say, $250, $300 for that. So there is a big difference. But my suggestion is, once again, to get, you got it, Pittsburgh brand. These socks will last you the rest of your life. You'll never have to buy another one. And for the price, it's unbelievable. And if you do break one, all you gotta do is put your set back together, come over here to Harbor Freight, and you're, you know, there you go, looky here. 59 bucks for those sockets. Jesus. So um, here's an instant saving wall that says, buy it now and save. Um, is that a good deal right there for this flashlight, $23? I'm gonna say, pra, maybe, maybe not. I would have to really suggest myself to say, if that's a self-charging flashlight, it might be worth it. But if it is, it is a self-charging, okay. Because me personally, I don't wanna have to buy a bat, I don't wanna have to buy a flashlight that you gotta use these on. Because this is a continuous purchase item when you have to do that. But when you buy a flashlight like this, you plug it in and you go. Now, this is a pretty cool flashlight, really. And the reason is, is that it has a swivel head on it. So if you're welding and it's a magnetic head, you can set it down. And it's got three different levels. And the best thing about this is self-charging. Get on Snap-on. Oh, looky here. We got a light up there, too. So get on Snap-on to see how much that thing is right there. Yeah. Here we go, Pittsburgh, you can't beat it. Now, this brand here, I'm gonna say shy away from it. Um, I bought a set of these, and after about a month of having them, they're so locked up and so hard, and anybody that uh, uses these diagonal cutters knows what I'm talking about. They get hard in here, and they're hard to open and close, and I don't even use mine, so um, I say stay away from them and spend the extra $3 and get the Icon brand. All right, so Icon's even coming out with uh, pliers and everything else, wow. Look at this set up here. 12 piece set of um, quarter turn convertible retaining ring plier set. You get all these in here, the plastic box. Snap on will probably be 600 bucks, okay. All right, I think we walked around enough. Here's some excellent savings right here. Um, if you need a detail brush, $2.99. You're not going to get that anywhere else. For all you fanatics out there and all you cheesy piece of shit that think you still got to wear a mask, okay? Are you protecting... Hold on a minute. So if you're wearing a mask, are you protecting yourself from me? Or, or, or are you protecting yourself from yourself because you're confusing me while you're still wearing a fucking mask or you're the guy that voted for Biden that's it and you're promoting Biden still so for all you idiots out there that think you still need to wear a mask 69 cents oh my god let's buy 67 packs of them it's a beautiful store people Harbor Freight is the king of kings when it comes to stores. $3.99 for a 33-foot 
tape measure. Wow. <laughs> okay, who's gonna go? Who's gonna go to Home Depot and buy a Stanley tape measure? Okay, look at that. Why would you go to Home Depot and buy a Stanley tape measure for thirty dollars when you can come over here and get a thirty-three footer for three ninety-nine? Okay, come on, people. Let's wake up. Okay. You know, you're talking about the economy going bad. You're talking about, you know, I'm broke. I'm screwed. I'm showing you how to save money. You need a padlock, five bucks for three of them. All right. Go to Home Depot and buy one of these locks. They're like $25, $30. All right. Um, I don't know if anybody else out there is flabbergasted by the size of this store. Here's our clearance item right here. What do we got? We got some off-road truck lights. 80 bucks. That's not a good deal. They want $80 for those. I think that's a little high priced. Um, here's a DA sander. Now, this is something. Now, that's a pretty good deal right there. We got a clearance DA sander. Wow. Six-inch dual air for $11.97. You can't go wrong with that. If you're gonna do body work, I suggest get your ass over to Harbor Freight ASAP. $11.97 for a dual action. That is, that's freaking dirt cheap, man. Look at that. Huh. Wow. What is this here? We got a safety angle grinder guard. Okay, we don't need that. But if I did need it, look what the price is. $2.97. So I hope everybody enjoys my beautiful and luxurious Harbor Freight videos that I try to do the best I can and, and produce these videos to the magnitude that you are enjoying them. Um, here's something right here that's $19. It's an inspection camera cable. Okay, this must be an add-on item that you put on something else. So the clearance aisle is looking good. I like that. A lot of good action going on here. This isn't, I don't know if this is a good price or not. It's a quarter inch hydraulic riveter gun for 60 bucks. Can someone leave a comment and tell me if that's worth it or not? I'd appreciate that. Um, okay. All right, we had our screen locked up there just for a second. Sorry about that, guys. Um, if you're doing electrical work, this might be something you want right here. Uh, come over to Harbor Freight and get all your wire ties. Look at this, $1.97. $1.99 for a bag of these. I can't believe that. Wow. That is freaking cheap, guys. This is just, this is, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable on what's going on here. Um, I'm looking for some uh, fasteners is what I'm looking for. They have plastic fasteners here somewhere. And I want to see if I can find those. The store's so big and it's got so much stuff that uh, it's just unbelievable. And everything's organized. Look at all the stuff they got. I mean, this store is like something that belongs in Dallas, Texas, not a little town called Montrose, Colorado. Huh. If you need a spray gun mask, why would you want to buy a 3M one? And you get four filters with this. So you're getting four filters. And it's also a, du it's also a dust mask as well for $27. $27 gets you that mask. Wow. Here's one right here, a dust mask for 24 bucks. I'm telling you guys. Um, now, I've never seen one of these before. Has anybody ever seen a multi-use dust mask like that? Hmm, that's kind of odd right there. Wow, okay. Uh, so just randomly walking through, we're looking at stuff and seeing there's deals and steals everywhere you look in Harbor Freight. Gloves, we got them, okay? All right, I remember when the big pandemic was going on these gloves were like $30 a pack and Walmart um, Walmart I keep saying Walmart Harbor Freight was screwing us in the ass on that 
But uh, anyway, let's get outside. I think we've seen enough. And I don't know where those fasteners are. I wish I did. But uh, we need to get outside and finish this video off and uh, see what Minnie the Body Shop girl thinks about all these spray guns my friend Pete's buying. And we're going to get her angle on it. Let's go. Hang tight. Okay, buddy. You got my spray guns? All right, I might come back in and look around in a minute. Yeah, don't worry, we'll be here till late. Okay, right. thank you, sir. Yeah, we'll see you next time. I'll be back. Yeah. Okay, so we just got out of Harbor Freight. Beautiful store, Harbor Freight, quality tools, lowest price. Would my friend Pete agree with that? If I'm gonna have to get back on that bullshit snap-on truck, you're fucking A right, okay? You're damn right, I'm agreeing with that. Um, let's get these spray guns unloaded. Let me show you what I got here. I got 11 of these babies. We got 11 spray guns, and we got Minnie the Body Shop girl. How you doing today? I'm good. Okay, what time did we leave this morning? Uh, Hang on a second. Okay, hold on. Let's. Let's get our spray guns loaded up here. And then we're gonna get we're gonna get me to the body shop. Can you hold this camera for me, please? Be the camera girl that you need to be. Don't put your finger on the screen, it'll lock it up. Okay, hold it right there. Okay, so we got eleven of these today. Look at all the action I got going here. Yeah. You see this? Many the body shop girl. I see it. Yeah. So They wanted to give me a warranty on these. Huh. They said, do you want the warranty plan on those? And I said, why do I need a warranty plan? They're, they're going out of business here. Uh. I'm putting them on eBay. I'm selling them. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Everybody doing all right out there this morning? It was a long, long drive. Anybody need a paint gun? <laughs> okay. Are you answering any questions for people? Talking to them? Doing anything? No, nope, not You're doing nothing. You're just sitting nothing. there not saying a word. Just sitting the word. Well, okay. Can I have my camera, please? Yep, there Thank you Thank you. Go. All right. How's everybody doing out there? This is Pete. And I'm going to try to get my camera set up just... Hang tight, because we're live here. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. I gotta get it balanced just right. Yeah, see, this is a, this is the action that you have when you're going live, is that you can't get the camera perfect. And I think that's not gonna work. Okay, there we go, right there, okay. Now, where's my other phone so we can have a monitor and read comments? As you, Manny the Body Shop Girl joins my friend Pete on a live video today. Wow, what a what an exciting adventure that's going to be. Yeah. How many times do we see Manny the Body Shop Girl out here on, on live action with my friend Pete? Not too often. Um, let's go ahead and get over there. Uh, hang on one second, people, so we can read, or read your comments. Because I know everybody's going to say hi to Manny and that uh, you love Manny. Uh, more than my friend Pete, which is fine. That's fine. I, I can say that. Uh, I can say that I can agree with you. But uh, instead of baffling, here we go. Okay, so here we are live with my friend Pete. We're at Harbor Freight today. Uh, many of the body shop girls said she wanted to come out here, but did you really want to come out here? No, I didn't. You didn't. Okay. I never said that. Okay, so uh, we got a bunch of viewers here. Uh, Alicia Canassier is saying hi, Minnie. Uh, Alan Wynn says he loves Pete, not Minnie. He says, I love Pete. There you well, go. I appreciate that, Alan. You're a nice guy. So if you want to hold that, okay, let's make sure we got uh, Alicia. Canassier. Okay, we got good volume. Okay, so let's ask Minnie the Body Shop Girls angle on this. What do you think about my friend Pete buying all these spray guns? Now, I got like 35 or 40 of them. At fourteen dollars each. You don't really want to know what I. Well, I go ahead. No, we want to know. Everybody's saying, "What does Minnie think about this?" 
this uh, excursion. I think he's going to lose his ass as usual. On you the think shipping? I'm going to lose my ass on these spray guns? On the shipping, yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't really think so because I'm going to charge. I'm going to put free shipping in there. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be free shipping. There How am I going to lose my ass? Well, there okay. you go. So we're in the beautiful town of <laughs> Montrose, Colorado. And what's really nice about being out here. To pay for the gas driving hundreds of miles out here. Exactly. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah and and yeah. the time, the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we left it, uh, well, we left it 530 this morning. No, we actually left about 515. Minnie was up at 430. And let me tell you, she did not want to get up. Did you? Not at that time. Yeah. So she got up. She got up like she was supposed to, and um, I'm actually shocked that she didn't go to sleep and sleep all the way here. That's what I'm shocked about. I was too worried about you running off yeah. the road. But you got to say one thing though: going to Harbor Freight is a lot cheaper and a lot less problems than getting on a fucking snap-on truck. Am I right? We don't want to get anything off a of snap-on truck. <laughs> yeah, let me go ahead and tell you the story. <laughs> when... Do they still have snap-on trucks drive around? Yeah, they still economy? have snap-on trucks. In this economy? Yes, yes. Wow. It's unbelievable that people actually buy shit from snap-on these days. I'm dead serious. But they're I, just buying it because they yeah. want to have the name on the tool. I don't know what it is, because, but... Because, you know... Well, I remember the day you used to be like that. Well, that's what I was just going to get to. I wanted to tell everybody a story. When I first met Minnie, of course, I had a uh, uh, truck account on Snap-on. I was paying my weekly bill, not monthly. Um, yeah, and about he, he always owed money. Yeah, to about Snap two on. years into knowing her, about two and a half years into knowing her, I got into buying these uh, specialty. Crap. I got toys, into buying these collector bullshit. collector trucks, these little toys. And the snap-on driver's like, hey, Pete, look what we got here. I won't tell Minnie. I won't let her know that you're buying it. I'll just put it on there and hide it. Well, all of a sudden, Minnie decided, hold on a minute. That fucking truck wasn't on your shelf last week. What the fuck is that? So she found out about these trucks that I was it buying. It wasn't hard. Uh-huh. Once the, hold on. What uh, we once got the collection started getting bigger and bigger and bigger on the shelf, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so, we're going to break uh, the story off for a minute. Um, well, I introduced myself to the uh Can I break it off for a second? We what? got a we got an urgent message here. Brent Norris says that you and me are worth $4.99. Oh. Good morning, my friend Pete and Minnie. You make sure to get Sammy Salami a happy meal and make this watch a Bad Chad video. Okay, I don't know who Bad Chad is. What's that? All right, I don't know what it is. Thank you very much, Brent. I'm sure Minnie appreciates that $4.99. Uh, she'll get That's half a subway. She said to get <laughs> no. She said to get Sammy Salami. Oh, Sammy Salami. Yeah, oh. he said that money's for Sammy Salami. Okay, well, for a, yeah, a yeah. big tall boy slits malt liquor. No, it doesn't say that. Okay, so let's get back to the uh, story. So, anyway, I'm buying these fucking toys on Snap On, and I still got all these toys. And every now and then, I get online to look to see if they're worth you know big money. They ain't worth shit. They're probably worth They're less. They're worth less than what he gave for them. So They're anyway. Less because those were expensive. So anyway, Minnie decides, fuck oh, this. Oh, no, no. Oh, what he would do, though, is he would every once in a while get me something. Oh, like, yeah. I got yeah, you the like Dale Earnhardt. Yeah. Oh, I bought this for you. Look, I got a collector. I got this for you. But I got that collector Dale Earnhardt clock. Yeah, and laminated on and wood, and then I got you a couple cars. Yeah. yeah. So she decided to wise up, and one day... When the, she was watching vigorously for the snap-on truck to make sure she went out there before I did. Because you know women aren't allowed on the snap-on truck. Yeah. you. This is why they're not allowed, okay? <laughs> she got on the truck and she told the snap-on, Don't you ever fucking sell Pete another fucking toy ever again. If I find out, you're, I, sure you're, you, you're, you're not allowed on our property and I, his fucking account is closed. <laughs> he never sold me another toy. Trust That's me. Right. After many, it was over. Mm -hmm. It was fucking over. Over. And okay. we still have all those toys, and they're not worth nothing. But you know what? Even we got though, some cool things. We got like a little toolbox that opens up, and it's got yeah, little tools. It's got a little man. Little man. No, actually, I gave that to H-Ball. Remember? Oh. I either gave it to him or I sold it. Now, I think we gave the other toolbox you're talking about that opened up. That was like a jewelry box type thing, right? 
It was, it was well, a little snap-on toolbox yeah. that cost like $197. Yeah. That was no bigger than this fucking phone. Oh, we won, a, we, won a, uh, we won something one time. Yeah, we won a barbecue that looked like a snap-on toolbox. We yeah. ended up giving it to our buddy Mike. Yeah. Uh, get some Biden chocolate chip ice cream. Uh, Ford says to get some of that. Thank you very much. I want to make sure that I do that. And anybody that didn't get that, uh, think about it. Biden chocolate chip ice cream. You don't understand. Shit. Oh. All right. Out of the toilet after he takes a crap. Gross. Biden that's chocolate just, chip ice cream. That's just gross. Okay, well. That's just gross. Um, all right. Uh, it's the Costanza says Harbor Freight makes Pete happy. Yes, it does make me happy because it makes her happy. If I'm on the snap-on truck, she's definitely not oh, smiling, people. No, no, we don't do snap-on trucks. She anymore. lost one of my sockets one time. It was a 716 socket. I get on the snap-on truck to buy a new one. Now, this is this is actually somewhere else as we were traveling. I get on and away from the regular truck that I buy, and I said, hey, there's a snap-on truck. I'm going to go on there, and, and Minnie wasn't with me. Somebody else was. What's this guy doing? Hold on a minute. Is this guy going wacko or something? Or what was he just doing? What's in the sky, buddy? What are you looking at? Uh, Sand Hill crate. Sand Hill crate. Cranes. Oh, cranes. cranes. There's cranes in the sky. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him, buddy. I'll let you know if I see him. All right. It might be that plane up there making a cross. I think it's that. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. We had a guy that said that the sandhill cranes were up in the sky. Wow. Okay, that's weird. Okay, so anyway, back to the situation. Um, what were we talking about? Snap okay, on. hold on. It says, Freddie Sodium says, miniature snap-on novelty tool chest free with $12,999 worth of toolbox. Well, it went for $50 last week. Fifty dollars a week for fifty years. Fifty dollars a week for fifty years. Yeah, yeah. you yeah, got it. You did, got we it, Freddie. We did that too. We got Pink's it. Giant toolbox that we paid. I'm not going to. Well, say much hold on. We need to that. tell them the story why I got that big toolbox. I didn't really want it. Yeah. Okay. When we were going to move to Moab, Utah, the bank told us you can't move here. You can't get any property. You can't build a house. You can't do nothing because you don't have no credit. The guy told us, go somewhere where you can get easy credit and start building your credit. So I, I the only reason I so bought, bought that. a $10,000 toolbox. The only reason I bought that toolbox is because of that. Yeah. And they didn't, even, divorced they didn't even give Minnie anything for free off that action. Can't believe it. All right. So anyway, um, that's really the deal. I don't remember what we were talking about before we saw Bird Birdman out there. Um, it looked like if he had a bag in his hand, like he was actually going to catch one of them fucking things if he oh, saw. Oh, he was returning. Well, that was kind of weird, okay? Some guy randomly standing in the parking lot yeah. looking up in the sky. Well, you know, people do that just so you'll look up. I'm going to tell everybody out there, if you live in a big city, you definitely need to make time and set a date to get the fuck out of there and go travel somewhere like this beautiful city of Montrose, Colorado. I got my window rolled down. I'm smelling this fresh air coming in my window. And the aroma of just the being in this part of the country is beautiful. Um, it says that it's 32 degrees out, but it actually feels like it's, what, about 50? Yeah. 50 degrees if you're in Dallas, Texas. It feels pretty warm. So if you got the chance, get the fuck out of town and do something with your life. And don't die not doing something. You have to get off your ass and do something. We got up at 5 o'clock this morning. Fortunately, she wasn't in a bad mood, which is unbelievable. Hey, did you I do, can't believe that. do that shout-out for that phone number I forgot to write I down? don't remember. Um, if anybody, if the guy's watching this, I don't remember your name. You got two 14-year-old twin no, boys. No, no. His name is Chris. Okay. And he's got twin boys that are Many four years old. Manny did not write your phone number I down. I to you, and I wrote down all the info, but I didn't write your phone number down. Call me. Call us. Give us a call back <laughs> if you're watching this. You know uh, who you are. So you I can talk to, me for to about you. 15 or 20 minutes. And if anybody wants to talk to Manny the Body Shop Girl on the phone, uh oh, hold on. Brent C. Norris says uh, somebody's worth 
$1.99. Y'all look up the song, Cranes in the Sky. Cranes in the Sky. Okay, we're going to do that just for $1.99, <laughs> Brent. We're going to do that for you. One thing I do want to say, and I'm always going to try to do this, is if you want to be happy in life, you got to believe in Jesus Christ, people. You got to believe in God. Amen. And every morning that you get up, it only takes less than five minutes. Look up in the sky or look up, put your hands together, and thank God that you woke up this morning to see the sunrise. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. And I guarantee you, it's going to make your day a 100% better day just by doing that and going to make you feel relieved, even though that we live in a shithole economy and a shithole country that's turning to the shits. I'm telling you, just thank God every morning that you're still alive and your life will be better. Uh, Denver, Colorado smells like pot. Okay? I'm pretty sure it does, Costanza. Are you in Denver? I'm actually from North Denver. I was uh, raised... That's why we didn't move yeah, to Denver. I will not move back to Denver. I wanted to. I actually had a chance to buy the house that I grew up in, and we turned it down because... It's just a fiasco out there in Denver. That was funny. Um, uh, Troy Adams says, take Minnie out for lunch. We're going to be going to go eat breakfast. Breakfast. We're, breakfast. we're going back it's home. It's 9 o'clock. It's time um, to eat. You guys are looking good. Nice to see a smile. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I don't want to cuss on holiday. We got Minnie in the car, and she's in a good That's mood. That's why I don't like so it. To be honest, we don't want to get her upset. Um, I'm not doing that no more. Thank God that you're alive. And also thank God that there's a, a store in America called Harbor Freight. There you go. If you wasn't, your your guy's wives would be pissed off because you're on the Snap-on truck buying too much Stay bullshit. Stay away from the Snap-on truck. Stay away from Snap-on. Uh, Pete, I don't know how religious you are, but you sound like me. I'm more spiritual. I would say Minnie's more religious than me. I'm not going to lie to you, okay? Well, she is definitely more religious than I am. But I do the best I can to make sure that I'm walking on my tiptoes around God. And um, I always pray to Jesus every single morning. Um, uh, God bless you, too. Okay, McDonald's too expensive. Hell no, we're not going to McDonald's. McDonald's is scrap food. We buy a uh, Happy Meal for Axel. I was just, gonna, I was just telling Minnie on the way here, and then I got to go. That did you ever notice when you eat out, when you eat at a restaurant, I don't care if it's a restaurant, a fast food joint, all that food is is processed food. It doesn't matter where you buy it. If you don't cook it at home, it's processed, plain and simple. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. Um, after you eat at a restaurant or a fast food place, did you ever notice that you feel bloated? That's because of all the chemicals that are in the shitty all food the that you're eating. fake food you're eating. Yeah. Drive safe, skip Burger King, religious is man-made, okay, David? No, Jesus, oh, Jesus. religion is man-made, Jesus is king. Okay. Would you agree with that, Minnie? The uh, body's, I, I guess. I think what he's saying is um, all the Protestant churches are man-made. Yes. And Jesus Made is the, the creator church. of the one and only church. Yes, let's all I'm hoping unite. that's what he's Un saying. Unity, unity. It's all about unity. Let's all get together. We all believe God. There's only one God. So Okay, yeah. there's Ford 1948 says, does anybody remember Homier Tools? They were pure junk. I have never heard of that, Homier Tools. Uh -uh. Hi, Minnie. Hey, Pete. Okay, guys, we got to go. Take it easy. My friend Pete, your friend Pete. I thought he was going to say Homer Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> I got to go take it easy and uh, everybody have a great time. And if you can see Harbor Freight sign up there, visit Harbor Freight. Tell them my friend Pete told you to come in there. They actually let me film in there, which is very unusual. Wow. Yeah, they said, go ahead. We don't care. When I heard you coming out the door, I was waiting for you to start being cussing. I'm saying, telling you. I, I can't film where I I couldn't I believe it. So <laughs> we got to go. We're heading back to Moab, Utah. I got a Volkswagen class 5 Baja to paint. Very exciting. Make sure you watch all the videos on that. And I'm going to be making a video. I want everybody to listen to this. I'm going to be making a video of my artwork and the sale of my artwork goes to my Baja. Okay? To rebuild the transmission and the motor. So we got a 100% authentic good running car. Does that sound cool to you? 
Oh, this is the first I heard of this. I thought I told you that. No, you didn't. Okay. I got to go take it easy, guys. We'll see you later. <laughs> Keep your eyes in the sky for the cranes, people. They're up there somewhere. We got to keep watching for them.